today we're going to be showing you the best way to grill chicken thighs. We're going to show you how to make sure that skin gets nice and crispy. We'll also be showing you how to render all the fat out of the chicken thigh to get that chicken perfectly juicy. Welcome back to another episode of Bluff City Grub. I'm Greg. And I'm Joe. see something you like today or you learn something new be sure to follow like and subscribe today we'll be giving you our tip for crispy juicy chicken thighs but we got a special way to make sure that fat renders down really good and we're gonna share that with you today as with all chicken with a lot of fat just like chicken thighs that skin can definitely come out chewy if you don't take the right steps one of the mistakes people make when they're cooking chicken thighs when they try to get that skin crispy they just end up burning the chicken we're gonna show you how not to do that flare ups Greg come on well, you know, it, chicken thighs are really fatty, got a lot of fat on there. When it starts to render down, a lot of people have problems with flare-ups. We're going to show you how to solve that problem as well. Let's get to cooking. All right, so we got our chicken thighs all laid out here, and we got them all pretty much the same size. That way they cook evenly. That's what we want here. We're get our chicken thigh here. We're going to flip it over, and what we're going to do is we're going to look for hunks of fat uh, that we're going to cut off here. We're just going to kind of get it uniform so they cook evenly. Okay. Trim that up here a little bit. Right. Make sure it's nice and uniform. Yeah, that's good right there. Perfect. All right, now here's one. The things we're going to do to make sure the skin gets crispy, we're going to pat these guys down a little bit. We're going to dry it off, get all the moisture off the top and bottom of the chicken here. Just with a paper towel. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get these thighs rubbed up here. Uh, we're using our basic barbecue rub, Bluff City rub. It'll be in the description below. But I always like to start on the underside of the chicken. Presentation purposes. Alright. Yeah, I had a generous amount. It's on the side of these. This rub's gonna give it color and a lot of flavor. But we're gonna season it again closer to the end. Alright, flip them over. Season the skin side. Man, this rub smells delicious. All right, so we got them all rubbed up. We're gonna take them, uh, let them come up to room temperature, put some more oil over them, let them rest up a bit, and then we'll get them on the grill. All right, so we got our grill nice and hot. We have it up to about 400 degrees. We're gonna cook this on the PK today. Got some wood in there for a little bit of smoke flavor, but we're gonna oil our grates to make sure our chicken doesn't stick. And we're gonna be doing an indirect cook on here. And the reason why we're doing an indirect cook uh, is just so we don't you know, do the flare ups with that fat rendering down, and it's gonna help that skin get crispy over here off to the side. Get nice and oiled up so it doesn't stick. Go ahead and get our chicken on the grill. Now with our chicken thighs, we're gonna cook these skin side down. So cooking these skin side down is gonna keep the uh, or get the skin crispy, and cooking it off to the side is gonna keep any flare ups from happening. This chicken roast off to the side for about 20 minutes and come back and check it. It's gonna roll for about 20, 25 minutes, and then we're gonna throw it off over, over here to sear it up. Our chicken ran a little bit long here. Uh, the, the temperature's still up there. For some reason, the chicken kind of stalled out, so we're actually at about 45 minutes. But that's okay. We got plenty of time. These things are looking good. 
We're gonna tap them, see if they're up to temp here. See what we got. That's perfect. We're right at like 183, 184. That's where you want to be at. You want to cook these things hot and slow. That's how you get them rendered down. That fat, really soft, tender. You're gonna look at the top side of that. Look at that, it looks real good. All right, look at this. Beautiful. Looks delicious. They are looking good, Greg. So we're gonna move these over to the hot side, and this is where we're gonna get our sear. We're gonna crisp them up. Get skin nice and crispy here. We're gonna let these go for about five minutes over here, and we're gonna pull these things off. It's gonna be some good eating. All right, this chicken's about done. Look at that guy right there. Skin's nice and crispy. Beautiful. These chicken thighs are nice and rendered and they're looking good. Skin's crispy on top here. I'm gonna take these off, these guys off here. I'm gonna put a little bit of dry rub on here to finish them off. I like adding layers of flavor to mine. I don't know how you like your chicken. I don't like it nice and seasoned. Oh yeah, beautiful. I like mine sauce, buddy. You All got right. something for that? Yeah, sure. Give you a barbecue bath there, buddy. Get, get this. Yeah. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes. We're gonna let the uh, clay set on this chicken. They're looking really good. Nice and sauced up. We're gonna go ahead and take these guys off. We're gonna let, us, let them rest for about 10 minutes. Thanks for watching. See y'all next time.